The current upheavals in some Arab countries will change the face of this part of the world and will certainly have a fundamental impact on the global political scene. Today, we will explore those implications with our guest Dalia Mugahid, Director and Senior Analyst of the Gallup Center for Muslim Studies and Director of Abu Dhabi Gallup Center. In 2009, U.S. President Barack Obama appointed Mugahid to the White House Advisory Council on Faith-Based and Neighborhood Partnerships, making her the first Muslim-American woman to hold a position of this seniority. She co-authored the groundbreaking book, Who Speaks for Islam? What a Billion Muslim Really Think. Welcome to INSEAD Knowledge. Thank you. It's so good to be here. What implications will the current changes in the Arab world have on the way the world perceive Arabs and Muslims? And do you think these changes will have a positive impact on the wider Arab and Muslim world? I think that the world is looking at the Arab world in a very different way. So for example, we found at Gallup that more than 80% of the American public said that they sympathized with the protests in Egypt. This is really uh, remarkable because there's also a very high level of anti-Muslim sentiment in the United States with, with a lot of events happening around uh, people really s being suspicious of Muslims. And in, in many cases, the suspicion is grounded in the idea that Muslims and Arabs are different, that they don't share the same values as Americans. And so with, with these, these changes, these transformations, it really shows the world that, that there's so much common ground that wherever someone is, they desire having greater, uh, greater access to, to their, government's, uh, gover you know, their, their government's decisions. So I think that it is improving the way that people in the West view this region. The impact of that change on this region is, is going to be profound. People now have a different view of themselves. They, they, they are much more empowered they feel, especially in Egypt, that they've accomplished something very difficult that no one thought they could do, and it gives them the confidence to then go on and, and progress in other ways. What role can religion play in such events? Religion can play a very positive role in these changes. Egyptians and, and other Arabs are very, they, they tell us in our research that religion is an important part of their daily lives. They, they tell us that their faith is one of society's greatest assets in this region. So they view their faith very positively and they view it as a source of progress, not as something that is, is inhibiting forward thinking. So when we look at our research, we even find that people, men specifically, who say that they practice their faith weekly are more likely than men who don't to be f supportive of women's rights. Do you think that the current events have proven that the notion of either dictatorships or radical Islam is not justified or is it too early to make this judgment? What we find in, in scientific survey research is that the vast majority of people reject both extremes they reject dictatorship and they reject radical uh, interpretations of their faith. The vast majority want a healthy governance that is free of corruption, that allows people opportunities. It's very simple. Just like anyone in the world, most Muslims and Arabs have these same aspirations. And so when this majority is finally given a voice, when they're finally represented, you're going to just find a different model. What we don't know is how, how successful they'll be in creating a system that reflects their aspirations. You are participating in the International Women's Day event here at INSEAD Abu Dhabi campus. What do you think is the role of women in these times of social and political change around the Arab world? The role of women is extremely important. First of all, women in this region have become more and more educated over the, the past generation. In many countries, such as here in the United Arab Emirates, women are more likely to be college educated than men, that the gender gap has actually switched where, where women are more educated than men. So there is so much talent in, in the field, of, in, in the community of women, and societies that can tap into that potential and tap into that talent will have the best 
ch uh, the, the best chance of, of moving forward. It's wrong to say that there's only one model of empowerment. Empowerment can look like many different things. What is important is that we, we recognize the, the, the value that women bring to the table and we make sure that they're included in our decisions. Do you think that Obama administration is dealing with the issues of Arabs and Muslims differently compared to the previous American administrations? One thing that, that's very easy to point out is that the, the words and the paradigm that the Obama administration uses in, in talking about Muslims is very different. They, they are approaching this part of the world with a prism that is very wide and exclusive, inclusive rather. They're not just looking at the region through the prism of security. They're looking at the region through the prism of partnership, entrepreneurship, development, so many different things that are, that are recognizing that this is a human community. What is the best approach to balance the relationship between the West and the Muslim world? I think the best approach to balance the relationship is for Muslims and Arabs to focus on developing their own societies. We just saw a glimpse of that when, when the world looked in, in awe at Egyptian peaceful protesters cleaning up the streets, painting the, the walls, uh, Christians and Muslims protecting each other's prayer. And the world grew in, in its respect for, for this region. And, and it was so interesting because the Egyptian public were so indifferent to the way the West was looking at them. They were doing it for themselves. They were doing it because they believed in it. But as a byproduct of that, there will be a much more equal relationship between the two sides. This region will go from being the object of global pity to a leader in global progress. Thank you very much. Thank you.